Nobody ever feels sorry for me because my story, the true life story of me is so fucking unbelievable unless it's on TV like a documentary. It's so fucking unbelievable that I never tell it. And by the way, she's on TV kidnapping me. Here's why they're never going to find her. I fucking stabbed her and I may or may not have successfully killed her. But she's gone out of the house now and somebody else is here taking care of me. Which makes me think she survived and she's still trying to get life insurance money out of me. And some grand plot. She's so, like psychopathic or fucking self and teaches people to be sociopaths and doesn't expect them to fight back. So if she's still alive, I'll kill you, bitch, before you get any money. And I know you know that I would... let your guard down around something like that nasty even as a child sure just be honest with it think it can't do anything it has a mind of its own it'll turn on you just like a dog so stupid think that people aren't children that are people that have their own ideas about what you think and say to them and everything that you teach them and also your victim that man that you have married was so winding up with me being asked to do everything somehow for some kind of political science thing on the fact that you do this in the first place so they're just watching the crime knowing what's happening as she sends out her little emails and things through my email to target me through an international science fair which is long gone and over with that i won by designing drones and my dad siphoned them off to an engineer and all my plans were developed right down to a drone bomber, by the way, which is basically a flying nuclear bombshell. And <laughs> I designed this shit because I was making chloroform by age four on the back porch. And mom took it down to the basement and passed out. <laughs>